one and let's give him thanks this morning first for answered prayers give him thanks also for those amazing testimonies of the raw acts of god give him thanks for his faithfulness over your own life give him thanks for making you a part of this glorious army magnify him Would you ask him therefore to speak to you this morning? For all the people came and gathered together in the morning for to hear him. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Somebody's house was flooded, heavily indebted, could not pay house rent, packed into one room out of the uncompleted building, and then building one, building two, building three, building four, a sanctuary for the Lord. He heard the voice of God, that sound of joy, I'm pleased with you. Everyone will catch such a voice from heaven this time. Yeah. And everything began to answer in their favor. You favor God's things. He lavishes his favor upon you in return. That's what he does. That's what he does all the time. He enters through the gate and Peace. He said one breeze blew on him. He knew God was his last bus stop. And God said, hey, I'm here. And I said to Dan, he said, I joined service where I was serving God tirelessly. I just got hooked up. To a point where God said, I'm pleased with you. Lord, help me to reach that point have one arrived at my promised land. I must reach that point where I will hear from you. I'm pleased with you. Help me, Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Help me to arrive at the point where I will hear from you that you are pleased with me. Help me to arrive at that point in my stewardship where I will hear from you that you are pleased with me. Help me to arrive there. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Heavenly Father, thank you for this great moment in our lives. In the name of Jesus, let everyone's package for this season be fully delivered. Let no one return empty-handed. And thank you for this. In Jesus' precious name. Welcome again to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and get seated, please. Engaging the power of thanksgiving for fulfillment of prophecy. Let's again be reminded that every prophetic word requires the hand of God for fulfillment. It cannot be organized by man. It cannot be orchestrated by a group of people. There is no way to push the Red Sea aside for Israel to pass. <laughs> it will have to be the hand of the Almighty God. The 
there is no scientific method anybody can use to pave a highway across the Red Sea. No. But the wind blew and parted the sea on either side. And three million people walked through without having to jump or climb or need a ladder. <laughs> he built an highway for them. Children, adults, old and young. And when Pharaoh thought, well, this is one great win that will help us to capture these people, he went down to the deep of the sea and were drowned there. All the host of Egypt were drowned in the Red Sea. It takes the hand of God, my friend. It takes the hand of God to feed three million people twice a day. It takes the hand of God to supply water for three million people all through their journey in the wilderness. That's how, how the hand of God is the only way to, to see the plan of God in our lives delivered. It takes the hand of God. It takes the hand of God. It takes the hand of God. I know that it was the hand of God that built the faith tabernacle. I know. Because I'm... I'm close to the operation to know that this is the raw hand of God. In fact, I said if any of the pastors went around this building and said, we built it, God will kill him. Because we had no capacity, we had no resources, we had no, we, I mean, we had no speed in our hand to do it. His hand. His mouth spoke it, his hand delivered it. And that's the process for every prophetic word that we ever find fulfillment. It will require the hand of God for delivery. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 15. That God said he does not guarantee his delivery. We must secure the hand of God to have it delivered. And Solomon said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which speak with his mouth unto David my father, and hath with his hand fulfilled it. Now, verse 24 of the same chapter. First Kings 8.24 Solomon is still speaking that God has kept with his servant David, with thy servant David my father, that that thou promised him thou speaketh also with thy mouth and hast fulfilled it with thy hand as it is this day. So only the hand of God has capacity to deliver the plan of God. So we must learn how to secure the hand of God if we must see prophetic agenda delivered in our life. We must learn how to secure the hand of God. It cannot be organized. It cannot be programmed by man. It requires the hand of God to see the plan of God delivered in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we saw the example of Paul and Silas. The word declares, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That is, thus say the Lord. You know the truth, then you are entitled to liberty. Now they were headbound in the prison. They prayed, no sound, no voice, and they sang praises unto the Lord. Loud praises. The prisoners heard them. They just secured the hand of God to confirm his word. And suddenly, as God stepped in, you know, he inhabits the praises of his people. Psalm 22 verse 3. As God stepped in, the foundation of the prison, there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. The sound praises, and the prisoners heard them, so they were not quiet praises. They invoke the hand of God by bringing him down through the mystery of praise. 
And when God came down, the foundation, the foundations of the prison were shaken. All the doors were opened. And everyone's bound were loosed. Great earthquake. He said, the Lord in it, let the earth tremble. As God came down, the earth trembled. The earth trembled. Psalm 99 verse 1, the Lord in it, let the people tremble. He seated upon the cherubims, let the earth be moved. There was a movement as God stepped in. And they walked into liberty. The prophetic word was confirmed in their lives. Remember, also, the Son of God shall set free, he shall be free indeed. So they became free indeed, dignified. I mean, had their bath in the jacuzzi of the man, the jailer. Sars, something has torn. Now, as you celebrate God and glorify Him, things won't stop turning for you. Let me hear your loudest amen. <laughs> so the devil won't stop you from praying as he will stop you from thanking God. He stops you from praising God. He gives you enough reason why you should not. He dampens your spirit by pointing you to things that aren't working in your life. He blinds your mind to things that are working. So it can keep you Stranded, but no more. I said no more. Yeah. I said no more. Yeah. By the encounters of this month, I see you smarter than the devil all the days of your life. Yeah. I see you smarter than the devil all the days of your life. Yeah. It's a way up. Now let's look at this interesting analysis. In John eleven, we saw. Mary and Martha sent to Jesus that Lazarus is sick. And Jesus said, prophetic word, verse 4, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of Man might be glorified thereby. First prophetic word, this sickness is not unto death. Verse 23, thy brother shall rise again. Verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And now, go to the tomb of Lazarus, verse 39. He's been there four days. By this time, he stinks. But he's been dead four days. And Jesus said, said not that unto thee that thou would have believed that should have seen the glory of God. Verse 41. Now, see what happened. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee for thou hast had me. So those three, four prophetic words came alive. Quickened. Activated. Lazarus come forth and I was dead came forth. You know the story. That is even from the mouth of Jesus thanksgiving was required to see prophetic word fulfilled. Remember he abode there two days more. Verse 6. I don't know but I want to assume that he was praying. For he said I thank thee for thou hast heard me. Thou hast heard me. Now, the man is still thinking, Father, I thank you for thou hast heard me. Lazarus! Come forth. And there was dead, came forth. That's how powerful Thanksgiving is in saying prophecies fulfilled. Now, there's a word that we have always interpreted to be peace, but that's not all the meaning. Um, in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 to 13, the Bible says, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
Now put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Um, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. He said, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Start, stand doing what? Now, go back to Second Chronicles chapter 20. They gathered together and prayed and fasted for three days. Joshua had called the whole of Judah to pray. Why? We had no power or might against this <laughs> company that has risen against us, but our eyes are on you. Then the prophetic word came that um, God is taking over the battle. Now verse 17, he said, You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, now watch, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Now, stand ye still. Then what? And now, you go to 18 and 19, they were worshipping God. You go to 22, as they began to sing and to praise, God set ambushment against the adversaries, and they were all smitten, and not one of them escaped, all the way to verse 24. They invoked God. I mean, divine presence through praise. Stand ye still. Now, Look at Psalm 84 verse 4. He said, Psalm 84 verse 4. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will be still praising thee. So you are not just waiting aghast. You are not just looking and gazing to the sky. You are to be still. To stand and be still means to stand in praise like Abraham. Having done all, stand. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and then the prophecy was fulfilled. So, to stand still means to be still, worshipping, blessing, and praising God for his word. And then it comes through. Somebody's story is changing. If that is your story, let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Let me hear your loudest, amen. amen. They will be still praising thee. Stand ye still and see the salvation of your God, which he will show you today. Having done all, stand with intense thanksgiving, praise and worship, and he will confirm his word. Stand ye still. Stand ye thanking Thank you. Th stand ye worshiping, blessing, praising him, and then you transfer the battle to him. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. It takes the hand of God to deliver the plan of God in your life. And that hand is secured by having done all. You have engaged in warfare. He said, this charge I commit to you, my son Timothy, according to the prophecy which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. Have them prayed, give thanks, and then God will stretch forth his hand and bring his word to pass in your life. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? Grace to take responsibility in securing fulfillment of God's agenda in your life. Receive it now. Receive it now. Let me remind you again nothing of value is free. Everything of value delivers at a cost. Everything of value delivers at a cost. 20 years of membership won't change anybody's story. But one month of genuine engagement can transform any destiny, sir. Can transform any destiny. Not just the activity, but the heart-based engagement. Heart-based engagement. God is not looking on the outward. He's looking to the heart. The heart-based engagement. Not that we are going for covenant hour prayer. Well, we are going again. Hello, I'm going again. If I don't go one day, say I'm not there. Because, you know, 
There's a place I sit. They, they will know that I'm not there. Oh God, I'm here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, not that way. I can only hear what to say, sir. I can't tell what goes on on your inside. Your genuine engagement will always be noticed by God. Sir. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro in order to show Himself strong, strong. He will always show Himself strong in the behalf of them whose hearts are perfect towards Him. Second Chronicles sixteen, and verse nine. Let's ask genuine questions and let's reposition to get to the point where God is pleased with our engagement and watch what will happen afterwards. Many will hear from heaven this month God saying to you, I'm pleased with you. How many want to hear that from heaven? You will. In the name of Jesus. You will hear from heaven. You will hear from heaven. You know what he said? Be still and you will know that I'm God. I'll be exalted in the earth. I'll be exalted among the heathens. I'll be exalted in the earth. Be still. Stand strong in your addiction to thanksgiving, praise and worship. And you will know that I'm God. I will exalt my name among the heathen. I will exalt my name on the earth. Be still and you will know that I'm God. Be still and you will know that I'm God. You are afraid. Nothing seems to be happening. Begin to give intense thanksgiving. It's the next point. Amen. When you don't know what else to do, thanksgiving, praise and worship is all to do. Because when God comes down, the solution will come. You will never know stagnation again in your life. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. And it's a mystery that puts you on top of issues of life. You never miss your steps. Stand to your feet, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can praise your way out of that prison house. Amen? Because that's not where you belong. That's not where you belong. You have been redeemed as a priest and a king. Not a slave and a peasant. To reign on the earth. Not to struggle for survival. That's the work concerning you. Yes, it's real. But we have to take responsibility to actualize it. It's real. It's settled in heaven forever. But we have to take responsibility to see it actualized in our lives. So I see kings and queens. I see crowns on your head. I see your slavery over. I see struggling for survival over. Lift up your two hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord, everybody. I will bless the Lord at all times. His prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Please sing this song along, uh, praise team. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. Now we bless you, Lord, you are faithful, you are holy, you are worthy. Man, just bless him. And I want to sing that song prophetically. From now, blessing God will become your new lifestyle. Blessing God will become your new lifestyle. Blessing God will become your new lifestyle. Every issue of your life will be met with thanksgiving. Amen. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. We bless you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever you are God. We bless you, Father. Bless you, Lord, you are holy. Forever, forever you are God. We bless you, Father Lord. We bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever, and, and forever, forever you are God. I say we bless you, Father. We bless, bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever, and, and forever, forever you are say
you are faithful. Yes, you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Yes, forever you are God. I say we bless you, Lord. You are glorious. Yes, Lord, you are glorious. You are glorious. Yes, you are glorious. Yes, forever you are God. Because I don't know whether somebody else is doing that. So you can do that for yourself. I bless you Lord, you are faithful. And forever you are God. I bless you Lord, you are glorious. And forever you are God. I bless you Lord, you are dependable. And forever you are God. Now, I like you to bless him your own way while they lead us in song. But you sing it on a personal note. Not we bless you. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I bless you, Jesus. I told my brethren, I said, brethren, the time of brethren, let us go is over. I'm gone. If you're interested, you can come after. If I waited for them, I would have wasted my life. I'm on my way going somewhere. Praise God. How you look doesn't stop it. Your comment doesn't stop it. I know where I'm going. If I'm going to catch a flight and you're insulting me, I don't have to wait. I may miss my flight. And I can't trust across the Atlantic. So, so please keep your insult. I'm on my way going somewhere. How many want to bless the Lord this morning? Is he faithful to you? Is he wonderful to you? Is he glorious to you? Is he dependable to you? Is he holy in all? To count on his word. Come on now. I bless the Lord. Aha! I bless, I bless you, Lord, you are faithful. And forever, and forever you are God. I bless you, mighty I God. Bless you, Lord, you, you are faithful, you are faithful, you are faithful. And forever you are God. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. You are holy. I bless you, you are glorious. You are glorious, glorious. Lord, you are faithful to me. Always faithful to me. I bless you, Lord, you are dependable. Forever. I bless you, Lord, you are reliable. I can always put my trust in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. With you, 
give you glory. Hallelujah, you are God. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. And forever. And forever, you are God. I bless you, Lord, you are faithful. I bless you, Lord, you are faithful. Faithful, faithful to me. And forever, you are God. I bless you, Lord, you are faithful. Always there, always there. Lord, you are glorious. You are glorious. You are glorious. I bless you, Lord. You are dependable. Dependable, Jehovah. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 you are God. Give the Lord the biggest clap of praise. Amen. All the days of your life you'll be blessing the Lord. And you keep enjoying his favor. It will keep changing your story. It's ever dependable, ever reliable. His hand can always deliver what his word has said. You will walk in the realms of supernatural fulfillment of the word in all areas of your life. Amen. Tomorrow is a covenant day of favor. And then uh, that's what we are entering into. It shall be an adventure of favor from henceforth. Till the end of your time on the earth. You never know misfortune again. Your children will never know misfortune again. Yeah. Your business will never know misfortune again. Yeah. It's a day. A certain day. Your turn around package, another man will not take. Yeah. One more time, stretch forth your hands towards these flyers and ask the Lord for the fire of the Holy Ghost to be upon these materials. Those who already have it to be quickened stirred up in their spirit to meet with their God tomorrow. Those who are going to receive it today, ask the Lord to cause his fire upon these flyers, to pre their heart, point them to the Savior and gather them tomorrow into his presence for their own turnaround story in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' precious name. Now, for every one of us who have been a part of this cell growth and replication, wonder of this year, be blessed. Yeah. The same way we are saying what we have not seen for a long time, what we have never seen or read, in terms of God's hand upon your life, shall become evident. Yeah. For every home that is opened up, you have opened up for the ark of blessings. The blessing of God will keep speaking in your life. For every house provider who has been there all these years, watch out. Your cloud is full. Your rain must fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone committed to this growth, nothing will ever be stagnated in your life. Everyone is a part of making it happen. Good things will never stop happening in your life. And I proclaim God's blessings upon everyone here this morning. Everyone under the sound of my voice, be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Isn't God wonderful? As at the last count, we had 10,208 new cells planted. Over the past nine weeks, come and give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. That's how much speed God will grant every one person that's involved in praying, involved in going, involved in planting, involved in leading those new cells in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be your year of supernatural speed in Jesus' name. Lift up those two hands and give God thanks. Give God thanks. Thank him for his good hand upon your life. There is water baptism this morning. Please, all the ones involved should get set and be part of this glorious encounter with Jesus. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations.